Guys, before this video starts off, I did wanna just let you all know that the Corvette is still available. I had announced that this car is officially for sale in my last upload, if you haven't seen that one already. I'll put that video right here if you wanna go watch it after you watch this video, that way you can understand why we have made that decision. Going to be sad, but regardless of the fact it is for sale, I know a lot of you guys are very interested. If you're a serious buyer and you wanna learn more about the modifications on this car, everything that's been done to it since I bought it stock, and the price, of course, please send me an email. I'll put that right up on the screen for you guys right now. And it will be in the description of my video. Thank you guys, enjoy. What is going on guys? Beautiful, beautiful day in PA. Look at this, look at this weather. Oh my God, it's beautiful outside. I just got out of work and I'm so excited because yes, as the title and the thumbnail of this video suggests, and no, it is not clickbait. We are not clickbaiting today, boys and girls. We are going to get the new project truck that's going to be unveiled on the channel. I've been working with a local dealership called Lime Ridge Automotive out in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania, trying to find the perfect truck. And I gotta say, we found the perfect truck. So I did kind of take a little bit of a step out of my comfort zone with the initial criteria definitions for this truck. I said I'd like to get something that's under 150,000 miles between the ranges of 01 to let's just say 06 or 07. That had like marginal rust on it because I really didn't think that I'd find anything that was anything better than that. But I did guys, I found something that is unbelievably immaculate and I gotta say so rare. I can't believe that I found this truck through Lime Ridge Automotive. So I can't really even take credit for finding it because ultimately Sam King, who's the owner of Lime Ridge, found it for me and he kind of connected the dots from there. So I got a little bit of a drive. I'm gonna take you guys along. We found the Mini Max and the debut is today. I'm so freaking and excited guys, I can't wait for this. So when you're in the market for a truck and you wanna come out to Lime Ridge Automotive to check out the amazing selection that Sam has, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, make sure to also stop in at Whitmore and Chevrolet. That's where Mr. Mike Street Speed 717 buys all his Corvettes. I say that because they're off of the exact same road. You might as well knock out two birds with one stone. It's a big day, boys, here we are. Pulling in here real quick. Looks like they're parking up another LML there. Just park that one up. There is Sam himself right here. It's right here, guys. It's, it's literally, I'm touching it right now and I'm so excited about it. Yes, it's white. You can see the spoiler alert why I'm calling it the Mini Max because yes, I'm back in a white vehicle and I'm so pumped about it. But before we go there, I just wanna give tons of credit and I just, I'm so grateful for LRA. Lime Ridge Automotive in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. All their information is in the description below. This is the dealership that found me the impossible they sourced a truck that is an 04 and a half LLY Duramax all stock one owner immaculate condition 70,000 original miles yes guys I'm not tripping up on my words 70,000 original miles on this truck and it is flawless let's just let's just take a look down here on the frame hopefully that's coming through yeah it's cleaner than my LML. <laughs> and that is slightly embarrassing, but oh my God, just look at this. I'm not even scared to show you guys under the cab because it's immaculate. No undercoating has been done on this truck, by the way. Small little areas, but not much. A dead giveaway, guys, for anybody shopping for older trucks is these bed rail mounts. If they are rusted, you are in for a bad time. The fenders up here just a little dirty, no rust. Guys, this truck is absolutely flawless, flawless in every single way, shape, and form. So on the inside, pretty standard, except for the fact that, yes, it is power drivetrain selection. My little old man step here. And of course, guys, power windows. Yes, we have power windows, power mirrors, something that you typically don't find 
in these older work trucks. There's Jamie right there. He's helping out some customers. They are here to check out some of the wide selection that is on this lot. I will show you guys more of the trucks on Sam's lot here later. Sam is the owner of Lime Ridge, but back to the truck. I just, I, like, like what? Like what? This, this, it's so clean. It's, it's literally just so clean. Let me, let me prove to you guys so that way you don't think I'm lying. She's purring like the Virgin Mary. Look at this. Oh my God, 70,000 original miles. Yes, 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 yes. We are work truck status, baby. The Mini Max is in full send mode right now. Here, let's talk about the headliner. I don't even wanna to touch it with my fingertips because they might be contaminated. None of it is peeling off. It's clean everywhere you look. Oh, the mirror for the lady. I know my wife is gonna love me for that, babe, looking out for your best interest there. Pop the hood for you guys real quick here. Oh my minty, oh my minty. Look at this, boys. couldn't make up the condition of this truck if I tried. Even if I wanted to lie to you guys, I wouldn't be able to. At a glance, when you run your eyes down the body lines, you see these nice paint matched over fenders. They are not that crappy kind of plastic that fades. It's a nice Duramax that they have on the lot that's uh, maybe going for a test drive or maybe some customers are moving it to go for a test drive in one of the trucks behind it. It's a pretty cool setup. I like it in its own specific way. But yeah, when you look down the side of this truck, you see no imperfections, especially on the bed. The bed is a big one generally because people are always leaning over the cab, reaching into what is the eight foot box, but there's nothing. I'm not trying to brag, guys. I am not trying to brag by any means. I found that pinnacle used truck that you just want to find that's in unbelievable, unbelievable condition. Sam, you delivered, my man. I gotta give it to you, dude. This thing is the great white buffalo. You found it. For all you guys that just love the stock sound of a Duramax. So now the question might be, all right, Jack, what are you gonna do to this truck? Well, I'm not gonna go into all those specifics, but I will tell you right now that I've already got an amazing assortment of companies that are gonna be working with me on this build and on subsequent builds in the future. I'm not gonna get too far ahead of myself here, but I'm really excited now that we have a project truck out on the channel. I know you guys have been asking for one for a very long time, and it does seem kind of like a boilerplate thing for YouTubers to do, but in my defense, I had always wanted to build a mini pickup truck. and a regular cab at that, a standard cab Duramax, one of the legacy Duramaxes, because really, I think done well, done right, these trucks look so good. The badass builds just keep rolling in here, man. It never ceases to disappoint in this lot. So now that you guys understand a little bit about the new project, the new Baby Max, the Mini Max, Let's uh, take a walk around the lot real quick because I think you guys are gonna like what you have to see. How about we start with this Cummins right here? Looks like it's on hold. I was down here the other day. This had just gotten on the lot and I knew it was gonna sell quickly because my God, look at this truck. It's got some really nice off-road bumpers on it. It seems to have an exhaust and it was done very, very well. Then if we just take a turn to the right, We've got LML with a really nice set of wheels and tires. It's conservatively modified, and honestly, it's the perfect daily driver. A nice 15 or 16 Denali that's ruby red, color matched fender flares, which is a really nice option. And yeah, it's fully loaded. It's a Denali. It's got the sunroof. It's got everything that you could ever ask for. Oh, but not really looking for a Denali? That's cool. The perfect match. Here's a nice 15 or 16 LML Duramax. That is a Chevy, if that's what you're interested in. And uh, getting to my point there, there is an unbelievable amount of options on this lot. Cummins, Duramax, Power Stroke, you'll find it all here. Oh guys, here's another one that I absolutely love. Being that it's a cat eye, of course, 
That's an LBZ. I think it's got like 150K miles on it. Nice set of 22s with 33s. So what's awesome about this is you're buying a truck from a guy that knows trucks and he only buys the trucks and inventories the trucks that he would house. And ultimately, he shares the commonalities with most diesel owners that are out in the audience that you wanna find a nice clean build that's worth investing in. Honestly, in all the years that I've been exposed in the diesel industry or the diesel space, if you will, I've never stumbled upon an owner just like Sam because he treats every single one of his inventory vehicles like his own. And you don't find that often. Typically you find somebody that just gets into the business of turning vehicles rather than selecting very specific vehicles that would be a great representation of that of his company. So I highly suggest that if you're in the market for a truck that you come out to LRA. If you have to make a two or three or four hour trip, it's gonna be worth it regardless. And what's cool is you can go on their site at any given point in time, which is updated almost daily. Sam's secret layer, it's his Mach 1. He's got his OBS here, which is mint, and you can tell he's got a thing for red vehicles. D-Max Rhino, I know you're uh, you're drooling right now, buddy. Oh my God, this thing is mint. Wow, look at that. Then here's Sam's Denali Max. 100% over injectors. He was running the Stell 64. He's actually the reason that I ended up going the Stell 64, but this is his personal build, guys. If that doesn't say a lot about his approach to building vehicles, then you're probably just better off going to the dealership that's around the corner from your house. But if you're looking for somebody that shares that kind of an attribute of build, but if you're looking for somebody that has this kind of taste when it comes to building vehicles, Sam's your guy. So he sled pulls this, which is crazy enough. There's a nice stack on it. And then he's got the sled, sled bumper bars in the back. Nice roll pan, really like that, by the way. And then this one's pretty cool. This is a all original, for the most part, Fox body. Guys, 6,000 miles on this thing. I can't believe it, 6,000 miles. It's kind of hard to believe for a car. That's what, from the 80s, guys? I think this is from the 80s or maybe the early 90s, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know my Mustang years all that well. But I did just want to show you Sam's personal little space here because I think this is a really great testament to his approach to vehicles. This is uh, per Sam's recommendation. He said to me, and he's gonna be upset because he's not here anymore because I was messing around with all these trucks. I'm like in paradise right now. He said to me, Jack, you better do a burnout before you leave because it is the right way to bless that truck and it is the proper way to say farewell. <laughs> I'd say that's a proper farewell. It was struggling there for a little while. Yeah, it was. That's gonna change once we uh, do some mods to it. You guys gotta guess them below, by the way. <laughs> I am so pumped right now. This is great. Let's give this stock a little while, a little bit of run for our money. It's a dog, but it won't be for long. Driving this thing, initial impressions, yep. Feel like I should be on a farm, hauling some hay, wearing some nice overalls. But you know what? We're playing right in the stereotype of, of a work truck owner. We got no tent on the windows. Well, because that's illegal. And uh, yeah, it's pretty great. My like league, I love you guys. I know you already hit that like button, so I ain't even stressed about it. Look forward to this build, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.